In this video, we're going to explore the plugins in FigJam. Okay, so going back to our file, I'll click on the menu here and go to plugins. And let's have a look what we have. So there's a range of different plugins underneath here. One that I've used recently. So if I click on run on the find and replace, it gives me an interface here. So if I can go, let's find the word the, or even let's narrow that down to an exclamation mark. It can find three instances of that in the document. And what we can do is you can replace them, or you can use these arrows here to find the different instances. So that's a quick way of, I guess, finding some text within your document. So that's really useful. Let's go back to our menu. And let's see, so we've got to do, let's run to do and see what that is. So let's add an item. So I am guessing this is just a simple task list. And let's add another one here. Yeah, so when you've completed them, it just puts them down at the bottom. It's just, I guess it's a useful way of, if you have certain things to do within a workshop or certain things you want to cover, or maybe you have topics you want to talk about, you could list them in here. And as you talk about them, you can tick them off as you go. So that could be quite useful. Let's go back into plugins and let's have a look at spell. So I'm guessing they want you to sign up here to send you a license key. I'm not going to do that right now. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be spelling and grammar related. So again, it's probably going to be quite useful to make sure things are spelled correctly in your document. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit more. So let's click on wireframe here under diagramming. And let's see. So we have different wireframes here. So if I click on this one, that has downloaded... So that's downloaded it into my document. So it's telling me that wireframe was used to make this. Do you have it installed? Okay, so let's, let's check it out. So I'm guessing now I've installed it or now I've saved it, I can change yeah, so I can change and add in different screens or different wireframes here from these templates. So maybe this is a quick way of illustrating a flow. Maybe if you wanted to use some of these wireframes. Seems to be some like uh, e-commerce style, kind of like a basket here. Some graphs. Some analytics. So yeah, it could come in useful if you were wanting to document something or kind of hint towards what you were you were thinking about in terms of a, a wireframe or a design. Close that for now. Let's go down. Let's run what's visual sitemap. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's giving us a structure here. And I edit that. Okay, no, that's a template. So, so I'm guessing the top level is that. If I tab page one, page two, and then if I do that, so work will be at the same level as home, and these page one and two will be sub levels of the home page. So that's the direction connectors so let's say it's going to the site map's going to go down and we're going to have it connected let's click on create oops okay so i guess this in theory would be my home page and that would be page one and page two and that would be my work level the same level as the home page so it's probably quite a quick way of of making a sitemap 
it has by the looks of it. Yeah, so it has actually added the text that makes it a bit easier. So yeah, that would be a quick way of making a sitemap. You can customize it. I guess you can copy and paste out of an Excel sheet or, or notepad, whatever works for you. Okay, so let's have a look at, let's have a look, create sticky from text. So select a text layer and hit start. Right, let's find a text layer. Let's select that, click on start, create stickies from text layer. Stickies created, close plugin. Okay, where have they been created? <laughs> Let's follow the menu. Okay, there we go. So it's created one sticky note with that paragraph in it. So again, I guess if you've got multiple, if you just typed out loads and loads of text, or maybe you imported some text from a document and you wanted to convert it to sticky notes, that could come in quite useful. And then you could then cluster and map out those sticky notes. Right, let's go back into our plugins and let's go down to another one. So let's have a look in meetings. Let's have a look at flyover. Okay, so let me zoom out a bit. So maybe, so let's add current view into name. So, so this is the default view. And then I guess if I move over, oops, move over to here. And let's say this is view two. So I'm guessing this is a good way to take people through the steps of a flow or take people through a workshop if it's broken up into different sections and you can use flyover to select points in the document. So again, that could be quite useful. And let's scroll down to planning images. I'm guessing if I run unsplash, that's just going to give me, yeah, so images. So if I type in moon, yeah, so I'm going to get pictures of the moon. And I guess I can just drag and drop those into the document. So this is quite a good one. If you need to get inspiration or just ideas, or maybe you're creating a mood board in Fig Jam and you could use unsplash to get that inspiration straight into the document. So that's a good plugin. And let's have a look. So let's have a look at the fun ones. Let's click on Fig Explosion. Just zoom in and out and click Explode. Right. Oh no, what's happened there? It's just destroyed the document. <laughs> so I'm not sure how helpful this is going to be. As you can see, it's just destroyed the Connect 4 section. Let me edit undo. I'll press Command Z to undo. Okay. Well, that's a good way of messing someone's document up. And at the bottom here, you can go back to the community and browse more plugins. So again, just like with all the other headings at the top, I'd encourage you to go into plugins have a play around and see what would help you in your workflow or help you when you're in a workshop or gathering ideas in Fig Jam. So thanks for getting to the end of the video. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.